I call this the breakthrough podcast. My my yeah. story coming from the absolute hood and trying to break through the different levels of resistance in life. Uh huh. Right. And there's certain points where you hit a resistance, just like a stock was trying to increase, right? And then you just get shot back down. Right. You know, in in your career, I feel like you're at a point now where you've anchored up to a point where you don't have many resistance points. But do you still remember what it was like in the beginning and going through those phases? And what were some of the ways that you were able to break through every resistance level to continue to climb? Wow, man, that's that's such a loaded question. And I'll just first of all I'll say, yeah, I've got I've got anchor points, but uh, even today's market, real estate and lending, is is certainly uh, not the best market we've ever seen. That's putting an understatement. As anybody who's in real estate or lending knows, uh, and so. Uh, it, it, you know, in the 37 years now I've been in the business, I've had you know, multiple times like that where um, you had to reset. And that's uh, this market is kind of a, of a reset. Uh, and and uh, the key for me in every one of these markets has always been just to be uh, really clear about what I was looking to accomplish and, and why, right? And it was that clarity of purpose and uh, getting clear about my intentions, about how I was going to accomplish my purpose, that that was really uh, you know my foundation. And, and uh, they have to be reset periodically. And, you know, times like this, for example, you know what we thought we may have had planned last year. Well, you know, the economy changed, right? Yeah. Interest rates changed, the market changed, and so that required me to step back and say, okay, I've got to recalibrate some of the things I wanted to make my priorities have had to change pragmatically to new priorities. Like for example, one of my key intentions and priorities is to provide leadership to my management team to help them you know, keep their cool, keep their calm, keep their resolve through a challenging market and, and help take them to the other side and you know, to a point where we feel like things have stabilized in our industry. And uh, from there, you know, we build you know, to the next level of our our growth as our company. And I guess one of the things that helps me is I've been through it many times, yeah. right? So I know that this is just a phase. You know, we're in a, we're in a phase, people, and they come and they go, uh, and they feel like, you know, sometimes they're overwhelming when we're in the midst of them. Uh, but just like, just like a really tough real estate transaction, what I learned early on in my career is they have a beginning and they have an end. And even though when I'm in the middle of it, just seems like, you know, it's just overwhelming, uh, what really helped me uh, overcome that stress was the realization that this is going to pass. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a 30, maybe 60 day uh, process. But when it's done, I close a book on it and move on. Nobody died. Uh, and I'm still here going forward.